Anyways, you want to see something that's flabbergasting? Conservatives trying to do their best to tell you that Donald Trump becoming a criminal and being such a prolific criminal that he had his mugshot taken is actually a huge W for him and the Republicans and not for Biden and the Democrats, which is an L for them, actually. And how not only is it good for Trump, but it will also be Joe Biden's downfall. The absolute cope coming off of this is just it's, it's remarkable. And I had to I couldn't miss it. Let's take let's take a look. I haven't watched this fully yet. Be the worst. Donald Trump's now infamous mugshot may just be the worst thing to happen to Joe Biden's 2024 presidential campaign. So true. Oh my gosh. Everybody's going to be like, yo, that, 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 that guy, that ex-president guy who's now being charged with a Rico case in Georgia for trying to overturn the election. That's my guy right there. Sleepy Joe. Stinky, sleepy, farty, ugly, uggo Joe. You know, that's what they call him in the streets. I'm not sure if you know that yet, but they call him uggo Joe. <laughs> like, how are you going to recover from a name like uggo Joe? You know what I mean? Like, you don't. You don't do it. Just like how he didn't recover from this fall either. Who, English people? It's actually Australian people. The Democrats have thrown every grenade they have at Donald Trump in an attempt to ruin him. But their strategy is appearing to backfire, with Trump supporters more loyal and generous than ever. Yeah, man. It's just like, I, yeah, it's the Democrats who's done all this to him. Definitely not him by trying to overturn the election and definitely not him by attempting to get other officials to do his bidding that even though it's illegal and him, you know, not doing anything really useful to himself in office and him trying to use all of the mechanisms that's supposed to keep the country running for his own personal gain. Yeah, it's all it, it's it's the it's the Democrats who keep doing this. Sky News All Stars Kosher Garda, James Morrow and Douglas Murray take a deep dive into the events that unfolded after Trump's latest indictment and oh, wait a second. Impacts that unfolded after If this is the event that I'm thinking of then this is then this is even funnier than what then this is even funnier than I think that this is going to be. The Trump's latest indictment and examine its impact on both sides of the this political is fence. Very real. Donald Trump is an enigma, a rare personality who manages to turn every disaster into an opportunity. And that's exactly yeah, what man. he's done ever I since guess. announcing his intention to run for president in the 2024 US election. I think there's no doubt about that. I think as much as people want to scream and shout about Donald Trump, he, he has he has absolutely disrupted the political process over the last you know five years. Yeah, trying to overthrow the country does indeed throw off the political process. <laughs> ah, yeah, try, yeah. He, listen, he did something that no president. Listen, no, lo love him or hate him, he's doing things that other presidents just don't have, just cannot do. They just haven't done, except for like I don't know, uh, uh like ever since the late 1700s, early 1800s? Or, or thereabouts. I, I always say he's a bit like P.T. Barnum, this guy. People, you know, they, he's a showman. He, he, he loves to, to, to sort of show where the problems are, and he's done it again. That, that uh, interview with Twitter on, uh, with, with Tucker Carlson on Twitter uh, has now had something like 260 million views. He didn't do the Republican primary, which had 12 million views on Fox. And this guy's got the gift. I mean, he, he is the absolute master of the show. Uh, Ron DeSantis has learned the hard way how not, to, uh, not to tackle the, the master. Uh, and uh, I think, I, look, my, view, my personal view is all of this is having a perverse outcome for those that are pushing this agenda. I think this is making him stronger. Uh, it's raising money. And ultimately, I, I think he is going to be the next president of the United States. And it's really. Holy crap. How are the how are the conservatives doing in Australia? Are, are they like are they like floundering? So they have to look to America to try to get any to to try to get any W's anywhere they can find them like. What's going on here? What is what is with this Trump gagging? That's crazy to me. How hard can you attempt to gag this man? Well, did you? Yeah, he didn't win. And yeah, he's has like six criminal indictments on him. And he's been basically shown to be a rape, at least in civil court. But did you see that his a tweet that he was in on Twitter 
had a bunch of views. He's going to be president again, guys. All right. Okay. It's not only the Democrats sure. who Donald Trump is fighting. He's also combating opponents within his own Republican Party, which New York Post opinion editor Kelly Jane Torrance says positions Trump as his own event. Donald Trump, of course, uh, has to go columnist? straight to the people. He doesn't want a moderator to uh, tell him what he has to say and give him a time limit for his answers. Uh, you know, I think that in some... Are they in power? A centrist Labour Party, Australian government governing party is right now... Many, wait. A centrist Labour Party is Australia's governing party right now. Okay. So the Conservatives aren't in power, but it's just some like middle of the road, centristy bullshit type stuff. Okay. In some ways it was a smart move. He's the front runner. Uh, would going on the front runner with the other people have helped him at all increase his front runner status? I doubt it. So, you know, he's kind of going rogue and showing, hey, I'm an event all on my own, uh, which certainly we've seen since 2015 when he stepped down that uh, staircase at Trump Tower. Sky News All-Star Kosha Gada sees the drama surrounding Trump's mugshot as a great PR move that will ultimately benefit okay, him. I have to see this. Well, the defining image of the week has been being a criminal. I mean, like, <laughs> sure, like doing crimes for a U.S. president is a good PR move. I mean, look at Bush in the inv in the, uh, you know, Af Iraq and Afghanistan invasions. <laughs> <laughs> like sure you know but the difference is the presidents used to commit crimes in other countries and that's what used to make them go crazy but now they're but now trump changed up the formula and he's committing crimes in the country and that's when listen i i do crimes in the middle east and nobody bats an eye but i try to overthrow the government once and everyone loses their mind it's wild ain't it it was an escalator. Donald Trump's mugshot released after being booked in a Georgia jail. Kosha, we've seen every scandal that has been managed to be uh, put together involving Trump, Trump only improve his polling numbers. Is this situation going to be any different? I do not think so, Amanda. I think, you know, the, the way to look at this is to just step back and kind of think about the whole landscape. The reason why we're in this situation right now is there's a large swath of the American electorate that for 30 or 40 years has felt increasingly disenfranchised for many, many reasons. Along comes Trump, a complete outsider, and tries to give voice to those folks and wins. He was met with opposition, the likes of which has never before been seen, and they view this as something bigger than just normal presidential politics. Trump campaign raised 7.1 million in fundraising since Mudjox was taken on Thursday. Okay, sure, but he has to spend a lot of money. He has to spend so much money when it comes to legal counsel, and he's overspending when it comes to legal counsel as well. What they want to remember when we talked about how uh, Trump was in the negative for this year when it came to fundraising because he's been spending so much money on legal counsel. It's bad. It's a bad and real. yeah, and yeah, like Biden and Trump are pretty close when it comes to polls right now, but we're also over a year out from the election. Like people don't like Biden. They just dislike Trump. And it's just and that's and that's all it really takes is that people don't really like Biden. They just dislike the Republicans. And so that's all it really takes for him to be in office again. And so, this yeah, I don't I don't real. see I don't see I don't think any like normal, rational human beings actually genuinely sees a path to being president for Donald Trump right now. I just don't think that's possible. I just don't think you unless you're just like a, a massive Trump gagger. I just don't think that you would see that right now. You just don't. I mean, people are talking about whether or not he could even legally run. A Biden is not like they just oppose Trump more and a polarizing in the polarizing of 2016 in a way. Well, I mean, like, I don't really care about people disliking Trump. I uh, sorry, disliking Biden. I mean, I also <laughs> in most cases. But I mean, if, if all he really needs to do is just be slightly better than than Trump. Well, go ahead, partner. Take it. Go on. I mean, Donald, I mean, uh, Biden's been doing some cool stuff recently, so I can't I can't be too mad. I will be mad, but I can't be too mad. It's in the candidate Trump anymore, but it's about fighting back against that opposition when you go from protest to impeachment. I can't lie to you. This shit's boring. I just got hit with something when I played that video again. This shit's boring. 
I don't know, Trump gaggers are just kind of boring these. Am I, what do you all think? It's Snoozeville, it kinda is. There's something about Trump gaggers, the, and you guys tell me if, well, like, what, what you think. I think a lot of Trump gaggers are just boring these days. They're not cool, they're not interesting, like they used to be. I think they've really lost their edge. They're no, you know, it, it's hard to be an outsider once you become the president of the United States and, and own like half of the Supreme Court. It's the song and dance you've already seen before. That's right. That's true. That's true. You got to have a cool edge and spin to it now. You can't just sit here and just do the at normal dog. Oh, Trump's totally going to win. He's so cool. Democrats are lost. You got to do, you got to add a new, a new cool edge to it. You know, you have to try harder. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.